Hello everyone, this is Lorraine, and today I have yet another Walgreens haul, and um, I have been on the hunt, I tell you, like all weekend for two separate Wet n Wild collections for, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple friends who, um, one wanted the Wet n Wild Mega Last Limited Edition Spring Collection, which are the ones that I swatched, they have Valet Tag, Elegance, um, Sophisticated Lady, Candid Affair, and Silver Lining. And then the other one um, that I was not able to get a hold of yet is um, Champagne Toast. Um, I found one complete set for another friend and sent that off. And then another friend asked me if I was able to find any more. I was able to find five of the six of those. And then another friend asked me about the Wet n Wild Wild Shine um, Street Art um, Limited Edition Collection, which are these here. And so I've been on the hunt for those again. So I've probably been to Walgreens about 15 times over the past several days. Um, probably since Saturday. I know I went Sunday. I think I went yesterday and then I went today um, trying to find all these collections. And um, I was successful with the Wet n Wild street art collection. Um, I was able to get a few complete sets and then I just pretty much bought whatever they had because I was like, well, if anybody else asks, I will have some. And um, like today, I know I went to like four, I think four or five Walgreens plus a CVS. CVS didn't have either of the collections. Um, <clears throat> and then all the other Walgreens, except for, of course, the very last Walgreens I went to, which I was thinking that I was going to go try that one first, but I didn't pay attention when I went there the other day because I wasn't looking for the street art collection, so I couldn't remember if I had seen them or not. So um, I decided to make that one last, and I picked up like a few here and there from the other stores, and then the very last one that I went to had like three complete sets and then a couple additional colors. So let me just go ahead and show you some of the things that I got because I got a bunch, ended up getting a bunch of like other random stuff. And um, actually this one was from a Walgreens haul that I went to like, I want to say last Friday or something like that. And I only picked up a couple things like some toothpaste and some toothbrushes and I forgot that I picked these up. Um, these are, this is the Rock Beauty London um, little manicure bar, and it says Love Zoe. I'm not sure, so a sample, a taste of nail heaven. So this gives you a bunch of different things, um, nail art items to create a look like this, or rather look, so it comes with two designer nail wraps. Let me show you that while I'm, so two designer nail wraps, one practice nail wheel, one velvet brush, one nail glue, one mini nail rock file, a pair of tweezers, three by three way nail art pen with appliques. So um, the this pen here comes with the flocking powder, which I don't have any of that and never tried it. This one has some iridescent, um, like, kind of like pearlish rhinestones. And then this one has a string of pearls. And here's the little velvet brush, the tweezers, um, the file, the nail appliques. Um, and they're really nice designs and they're actually pretty big. So if I were to use them, I think I would be able to fit, actually do a complete set on my nails probably. But what I was thinking of would be to, um, 
kind of cut them up and use pieces of the stickers to create like a different nail as for one of my nail art looks because this would be something that you could easily do you know if you don't have stamping tools or if you're not into stamping or whatever you can get a kind of similar stamp look or a nice make a create a nice nail art design by just using the nail art appliques and cutting them up kind of placing them you know on your nails in different places so and this was on clearance it was originally $15 and was finally marked down to $1.95 and then there was the second one rock beauty london um kit and this one is actually $2.50 and then so this one this is what this one comes with this one comes with eight amazing nail appliques a pair of tweezers a practice nail pop one three-way nail art pen with appliques I don't see any appliques in here so I'm not sure about that but it has a nail art like the nail stick here one which you can't really see the tweezers and then it has some stars these top two are stars this one is cutouts and it's holographic this one just has some like discs it's iridescent some butterflies some more cutout stars some caviar beads some iridescent stars and then this right here i'm not exact i can never ever remember what that is called if it's called mylar or shred or what but it's like iridescent pieces of um paper and then this has some iridescent glitter in the bottom of this blue pen so and again that was marked down from ten dollars to 250 at walgreens and again that was be part of my um you know nail art art series um and then this is the Sally Hansen Extra Strength Brazilian Bikini Waxing and Shaping Kit. Um, I'm not going to do a Brazilian on myself. No. <laughs> um, I've, I've, one of the people I follow here on YouTube uses this particular waxing kit to wax her underarms and her legs. And I, I hate shaving. I really, really hate shaving, especially my legs, because I always end up like nicking myself most of the time, especially up my shin or around my ankle area or my like Achilles tendon or whatever. So and then I just hate shaving. I feel like I have to do it way too often. I do generally go get a Brazilian wax done. Um, I know that's TMI. But um, so I figured... And this is the kind of wax that gets hard. You don't need strips. And that's the kind of waxing that I would get when I was getting my Brazilians done on a monthly basis is the kind that doesn't require strips. It's much, much, much less painful, I tell you, um, with the strips, without the strips. And it's less irritation afterwards. Um for the kind of wax that doesn't require strips. So I wanted to try this because, um, again, it is getting warm. My legs are ridiculous. Thank God my hair isn't like really full and bushy. Like I kind of have, my hair doesn't grow. It's not a whole lot of hair, but I haven't shaved in a while and I need to shave because it's visible at this point. So I really need to, um, shave so I just bought this kit and it was at CVS I think it was for I think $10.99 and then I had a um, $1.50 off rewards and then a, a $3 off um, CVS reward coupon so I did save $4.50 and then I bought I was out on the run I was starving and I bought a bag of potato chips so that wasn't too bad. That was actually pretty good just to try that out. And then the rest are like some mainly nail polish, but there's a few lip products in here. Um, this is the L'Oreal Infallible 6-Hour Lip Gloss. Um, this was on clearance for $5.49. This is the Color of Hope. 
um, line and this is called Color of Hope. They both say Color of Hope on the front, on the top, but I guess this one is the like signature color. So it's like a pinky mauve kind of with some shimmer. I know, my normal color. Just trying to find something nice and, you know, that I can do. And then this next one was also from that same line, but it's a more of a taupey brown type of shimmer. And this one is called Majestic Mauve. And then um, I had the, at, when you check out at the cosmetics counter, they have like a little bucket, a little bin full of different manufacturer coupons. So if you buy cosmetics, Try to make sure you can check out at the cosmetics counter because um, she applied, gave me two $1 off coupons for this. And these were on clearance, but it did not matter. So, um, and then I bought some nail files, glass files. They were 99 cents each. And then, um, like I said, I've been looking for a orange... Um, lipstick and I got this one this one's by Milani um, this one is called number one sweet nectar zero one and um, this is the color there um, I always well at least this one's sealed because at the other store none of them were sealed and I absolutely love the Milani um, Lipsticks, the smell. Oh, I just put my a nick in it with my nail. So I've been dying to try this on since I saw it, and my lips are mm. so. Oh, I don't know. This is pretty bright, and this is like the worst application. So, it's not too bad, actually. I kind of like it. I, if I can get, well, I'm, I need to exfoliate my lips, so the application is a little bit, hmm. But anyway, so that was one. And then this one is another one. Um, this one is by Wet n Wild. It was one of the 99 cent ones. And this one is called Sunset Peach. But this is a shimmery type of peach color. And this one's like totally sealed up. And I don't even want to waste the time. So this might be something I can layer over this one to kind of maybe tone it down if I need to. But I'm actually kind of liking this color. so And I really like Milani lipsticks. And those were like $5.99. And then I just picked up a Wet n Wild um, matte top coat. Because I like to try out different matte top coats to see which ones are really truly make your nails matte. Because I found that China Glaze one does not make your nails matte. So this one was just $0.99. Cents. It's more like a satin finish. One of the ones that I found that is actually a good matte is unfortunately the julep which is a little bit more expensive and then i've also tried the nyc one which in that one does make your nails pretty matte so i like that one as well and then i think that's all well no i did pick up these um shea butter soaps um I got two different ones. A friend of mine, one of the YouTubers here or subscribers here, I had mentioned um, that she had acne, you know, acne breakouts and everything and oily skin. And what she started using was um, pure shea butter soap and it really helped clear up her skin. And um, the brand that she um, she told me about, oh God, and I can't remember, African Pride or... Of course, I am so unorganized, people. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, out of Africa, um, a Revelation Hydration soap, which they used to carry at Walgreens apparently, but they don't no longer carry it in stores. And I couldn't find anywhere that was relatively close or somewhere that I would be out to like anytime soon. Um, that had that brand there was one place i think called the vitamin shop or something like that but it's in a kenwood and it's not extremely far it's not far but i just don't get to kenwood very often so and right now i'm like with all the ripping and running to walgreens 
I didn't feel like going out there to, to get there, so I may go out there at some point. But I wanted to try something. Um, so I found this brand by Shea Moisture. And um, so I picked up two different kinds. This is the African Black Soap with Shea Butter, and it's for acne prone and troubled skin. And it is a really nice thick bar. And these were on sale, buy one, get one, half off. So they were $5.29. Um, and then would have been like two seventy dollars or something like that. So it says there's no parabens, no phthalates, no paraffin. Parabens, phthalates, or paraffin. No gluten, no propylene glycol, no mineral oil, no synthetic fragrance, no animal testing, no PABA, no synthetic color, no DEA, and no sulfates, cruelty-free. So, and it just says that the ingredients are African black soap base, African shea butter, oats, aloe, plantain extract, vitamin E, essential oil blend, vegetable oil, glycerin, palm ash, rosemary ash extract, and iron oxide, certified organic ingredients. So, and this is an eight ounce um, bar. So it's a nice hefty size bar. And I feel like this would be enough for me to kind of decide if I like it or how much I like it. And so I bought another one. And this uh, this other one's for brightening and toning. It's the coconut and hibiscus shea butter soap. And it's got, it doesn't have any of the other things. It's made the same way except for a few different ingredients. Coconut oil, coconut milk, papaya enzymes, vanilla beans, shea butter, cocoa butter, vegetable glycerin, sonji, mushroom extract, vitamin E, hibiscus, sab sabdariffa flour, soaps of coconut and palm. And again, certified, certified organic. So, um... I'm gonna try those out and see how they do with my skin. And I'm gonna stop using the acne treatments because I feel like sometimes those harsh chemicals might be just too much for my skin. So although I've been doing pretty good, I haven't had many breakouts lately. Um, and these dark marks are going away, so I don't know. But I am gonna try those out. And then the rest are the nail polishes. So these first ones um, weren't part of the actual um, wet and wild shine. Well, actually, let me show these first. The Sally Hansen Insta Dry has a new collection. I forget what it's called, but um, and it's I believe limited edition. What's with all this limited edition crap? So this is a nice like brick caramel like brown called Morocco. And again, these were buy one get one half off plus the lady at the cosmetics counter gave me a dollar off coupon for each one this is called poppin paprika it's like a orange color number 620 poppin paprika and then the rest are the wet and wild shines and this one was not this one's not part of the streetwear collection this one is called dreamy poppy it's a coral cream color I'm not going to be able to see that. And then this next one was not either, but it was still, it was in that same display. This one is called Blazed. And this one is a more, this one is a more pinky coral. And this one is a more orange or melon type of shade. And then, so now the rest of the colors are from the um, streetwear collection. So this first one is called Cursed. And this one is actually a jelly. It's a nice bright orange um, jelly polish. Again, that one's cursed. This next one is like a nice teal, tur teal turquoise blue. This one's called Here Comes Trouble. Very nice and bright. And this one is a cream finish. And this next one is also a cream finish. And this one must be a color that nobody wanted because I found the most of these. The least color I was able to find was the teal turquoise color and the orange. So this one is just a nice bright sunny yellow called Get Lucky. And it is a, I think a, I think it has some shimmer in it. Yeah, this has some iridescent, it's a cream with some very hidden iridescent shimmer. Like, I can't tell that there's any shimmer in it from the bottle. 
And then the next one is called um, Too Hot For You. And this one is a, um, like a reddish, it's a red shimmer polish. It's not like a true red it doesn't look like in the bottle. Um, although on the swatch pictures, it does look like a very nice red. So I like the, if I do wear red, I, it's the metallic -y chrome type finishes. And this one does have apparent shimmer in it. And this next one is called Temptation, which is um, a kind of pinky coral. It's not as pink as this dreamy poppy. So the Temptation is here on the left. Dreamy poppy is here. But it's not quite... These two look very, very similar. Um, this one and Blaze look very similar. They're more orange tone. This one is slightly deeper than that one, but this one is lighter than Dream Poppy, this one is. And then the last and final color is the other jelly in the collection, and this one is called Deception. A fitting name because it neither of these look like jellies at all. They look like cream finishes, cream polishes. And so, yeah, those are it. So I was able to get one full set for a friend, a full set for myself, and then, let's see, one additional full set, and then, um, like, two more of four of the colors. I wasn't able to get um, any additional of the orange or the blue one. So I have several yellows, the Too Hot For You, the Temptation, and, um, and Deception. So I have a couple extras of those colors. So I plan to do put some in a giveaway. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. That is it, and I'm, this orange is wearing, is really getting, like, I'm really liking this. So, I can't tell if it's kind of matte or what. It didn't say, generally on their little colors chart, it tells you, I need to stop talking because this video is going to be a nightmare to try and upload. If my lips weren't kind of flaky, like I just need to exfoliate, but. I think I like this orange color better than the other one that I tried. So that's it. Sorry this is so long. Um, thanks for watching. Stay polished at all times and be looking for a giveaway. It will be one coming soon because I have amassed quite a bit of stuff here that I've been... Oh, wait. I forgot some stuff. Yeah, sorry. Um, I got a few more things. These are just my niece. She's like... 16 months going on five years old she is a character so super hilarious and she's finally getting more hair so whenever i can find any of the little hair bow things um i try to pick up whatever i can and these were 25 cents this was 49 cents um these are the little headbands this is a little clip and barrette and it like my sister-in-law tries to make sure she keeps her in keeps her in these little headbands because she looks just like my nephew did so and to you know for people not to mistake her for a little boy i mean she is the cutest little thing but you know how well depending upon what she may have on she's normally pretty girly she's actually i think gonna be a girly girl she's got a purse now so go figure so i need to go find her some little stuff to put in her purse as well and get her another purse so she can have some options can't wait till she gets old enough to do her nails oh my goodness and then um i found these on clearance this is the garnier um skin renew dark spot treatment mask it's a 10 minute tissue mask and i tried i did a demo and a product review of this and i really really liked it but they were like i want to say four dollars a piece like individually or something like that so um these were only 49 cents on clearance so i picked up all that they had and they had like two three four five six 
seven of these so I still have a little bit of spots that I want to clear up so I'm going to be using this and I really like this mask because it's not something that you have to wash off I feel like all the other masks they're either peel off masks or a mask that you let dry on your face and then you have to wash it off the peel off mask not so much but you can never really get every last little bit of the stuff that's left on there so you end up having to rinse it off like right after put it in on your skin so this one I like because it's just a sheet that you put on your face and it's very well saturated with the liquid and then what you do is just take and rub it in and let it sit on your face and I always do my mask at night so that way it really gets to soak in so 49 cents a really good deal I really like the first one and glad that I was able to find these I don't know if they're coming out with some new formulate formulation and it has vitamin C so deeply hydrates, boosts radiance, smooth and revitalizes. So, and it contains one mask in each packet. So I have enough for seven uses, which is really good because I only need to use this like once or twice a week. So this is going to be long. I'm so sorry. So thanks for watching. It will, well, ain't no point in saying it at this point because by the time you see it, it'll be already split up in two. So I'm rambling. So thanks for watching. Stay polished at all times and have a great day. Bye.